Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today is a redstone video. I'm going back, well, kind of a redstone video. It's a farm that I created for spiders, as you heard. But basically, this is, yeah, what I said, a spider farm. But the difference with this is there is a new killing chamber because of how annoying spiders can be and how they can climb things. I had, we had to maneuver some things around to make it to where they won't climb stuff. So if we go into spectator mode, we can see that the spawner's up here and it's surrounded by uh, so the, the wa there's water in the corners, and then there's this one air pocket right here because in the middle. So and then there's signs around so that it doesn't uh, break in. So these uh, magma blocks are here just in case that they do fall on. Uh, you can put hopper minecarts there and uh, collect it. I did not, but I did. Uh, these trap doors are basically not allowing uh, the AI or so somewhat makes it to where the, uh, they don't like go towards this I guess I don't really know how to explain it but this was really helping uh, if I didn't have this part it they kept climbing the walls then they fall into the lava and then drop down here from the burning effect and then these lecterns, I found, are pro one of the uh, cheapest and easiest ways to actually uh, be able to, uh, like, stop the, them from climbing. Because what they can do is, what they do is they hit their head here, and they can't climb. What you could also do uh, is use anvils, and that, that helps a lot, too. Um, I've seen some things use trap doors, but the problem with the trap doors is the fact that the, you get s <laughs> Let's turn down hostile creatures. So basically the problem with the trap doors is that they got caught up on the on them, which would uh which would stop their production so uh so then i create so that's what cr ended up creating this and i'm going to be showing you how to create this uh in your own sur survival world so let's get to it all right so we're going to do this above ground because of the fact that I put this underground a lot and we're not also we're also not going to be building the actual cube in which it f uh, falls because it's pretty much what you saw that's it so it's just this so it's the cube I will be showing the water part so this platform so it, all it is is seven blocks from the, the bottom four blocks away from any other part including the roof all right, so let's get to it. All right, so you, first things first is you're going to make a 5x5 five five area of hoppers. Connecting into one of these hoppers, any of them will do. I chose the middle. The middle, uh, this is just for the storage that you will be collecting. All right, so now that we have this 5x5 five five area, we can finally put it in this last this uh, climbing bit, uh, so we're gonna put in these three p parts. We want to um, we want to do it something like this, and then one one more up, like so. And you're gonna do that all the way around, like so. Oh my gosh. All right, then you're gonna have this kind of shape. These corners you're gonna leave open. You actually don't have to cover that because uh, if you do cover it, they'll be able to climb up the sides. 
and we don't want that so we're gonna leave that open you don't actually have to fill in this area because they'll be trapped now you're gonna have now with the temporary blocks you're gonna build up five blocks up so let's do uh, so I'm gonna do that real quick all right now that you got that uh, complete it should look something like this outside should look something like that now now what will happen is that the, they ca cannot actually jump they can't jump high enough to get to this block they can only actually jump one block so it's good for that to be there and now you're gonna get your lucky signs and you're gonna place them along Oh, sorry, one more block down. And you're going to place these down. Since this is very annoying, I'll skip it. All right, now that we got that in, it should be to the point where we can put the lava down here and here. Now, if we go down here, no lava should be pouring out. If there is, you need to fix that with the signs. Now, it should look something like this. You can fill in the other sides if you want. It doesn't actually matter. But that's just that's okay. So next we're gonna get we need magma blo we need magma blocks like this. You need you need to build up like so. And be sure to cover like it something like this. And now you're gonna need a trap door. What you're gonna do is you're going to place it on the top like this. That burning effect may come along every once in a while, but they won't be able to burn because they have no area to burn it. So there. And now that you have this, uh, you can get uh, your final slab, final block, and that is a slab. And on this one, you're going to have to actually build up one on every part except for these uh, corner pieces. You do need this these corner pieces right here. All right, now that you got that in, you're gonna place slabs all around, like so. All right, so the next part uh, is sort of like the drop-in zone. So from these blocks, you can go like this, you can fill in the corners if you want, but you're gonna build up two blocks. Uh, this is gonna be from the bottom of your spawner. And now that you got that in, you can input put the signs here, here, here. Ooh. Oh, I'll just do it really quick. All right, so one last thing before I uh, continue. You want to keep an open block and uh, open water piece in the middle. Otherwise, they could get actually stuck here. So that's a smart thing to do. So now you're going to build out in both directions two more blocks. Like so. Now this, and then you're going to fill it, connect the pieces like so. Now, I'm just going to make sure that this is correct. Let me just check. All right, I am so sorry, but instead of 
Okay, so this actually should work. I believe. Let's just, let's test. Because I, this part, where I keep messing up on. Okay, yes, it does work. Okay, so you, it is two blocks. Just in case you want to show, uh, like, yeah. So, like this. So, it's going to kind of look like a bomber. The first one is pretty cool. And you're going to put it in all four corners. Alright, so as you see, there is an air pocket here. And spider. So as you can see, he gets pushed in and drops straight in. And there are times where he can grab on the thing. So let's just spawn a bunch. Alright, so they can get mad. Uh, like, clumped together, but they will eventually fall through, once all of them fall through, once some of them fall through. So as you can see, like, they're holding up on this water, and that's why you need the air pocket. So they will end up going, but they all die, and there's no loss. There's no loss at all, which is really, really nice. So that's all. Uh, that is how you create a AFKable uh, spawner spider spawn uh, spawn spawner spider farm. Say that five times fast. So if you guys have enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. This took me a while, and hope you guys in uh, and hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Boom. I'm dead.